Hey guys, it's Brandon with Investment Joy, and for some reason I'm here doing videos at a historic 200-year-old church near my laundromat in downtown, and I wish that was the most interesting thing about this video, but it's not. The reality is I'm being sued over my trailer park, so do me a big favor, hit that like button, and if you like this kind of involved nitty-gritty real estate and entrepreneur content, hit, consider hitting the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it because it it'll it hopefully will help pay for the legal fees for this absolute disaster that I'm going to go over with you guys because I am thankful for every single one of you that watch my videos. Anyway, if you guys remember, um, last week I did a video about an arrest at my trailer park. There was an individual who I actually caught before a live stream one evening. It was uh, mid-December. We did a YouTube live stream where I did a live coin collection at the laundromat. Well, I drove by and I caught a guy breaking into a trailer. He stole trim, the wood little pieces around your baseboard and around the door casings. I caught him red-handed stealing it. And he said, well, I was doing it to help uh, some older person here at the trailer park, which he, what had happened was he had got some older person to give him a couple hundred dollars to redo the trim around her um, trailer. And he decided he was going to get the trim by stealing it from one of my trailers, you know. Of course, that, that kind of situation has obviously happens to a lot of people. So you've heard that story before. So anyway, we've tracked it down to that this individual and his girlfriend, wife, baby mama, whatever, um, were the culprits in these kinds of things going on at the trailer park. Traffic back and forth. There was a rumor of a shooting at the trailer park. Um, I did a little video snippet and said, you know, I owned a trailer park for two days before someone got shot or shot at, which it's just these nonstop, totally crazy situations at the trailer park. And this ties into it. So I was contacted and I'm going to read off to you guys this text that I got from my tenant. Somehow this video got sponsored by Keeps. I don't know if you've ever heard of Keeps before and it's really ironic that uh, they would actually pick somebody like me to support their product or to talk about their product um, since obviously, you know, two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. And at 34, I am in that category. But with Keeps, using our promo code, you can get up to 50% off your first order, which is totally awesome. I've already had one of my watchers order uh, because they heard me talking about um, the company already, and they've they've already told me they really like the product. Um, so use that promo code for 50% off your first order. Keeps treatments are up to 90% effective at reducing and stopping further hair loss, which is totally awesome. And I'm really happy to have them on as a sponsor for Investment Joy, and um, they're giving me sweet, delicious money. And we all know I like money, and you guys are here to watch videos about money most of the time too, which is which is cool, right? And I also dressed appropriately for this video. Womp, womp. And it says, okay, the posts from you had better be taken down. I have copies of it, and what you are saying is wrong, Zoe. If don't want sued for slander and defamation of character, I'd suggest you take them down. I'm calling my lawyer. And then it goes on to say, it had better be fixed now, and it's gone your page. It's your responsibility. Mean, you are, I imagine, er. Er, er page, it's er responsibility. And there's a picture of the individual who is accused of stealing things at my trailer park. The He has been barred for life, and um, the uh, county sheriff has been really good to work with. I've had, it's kind of one of these back and forths. I asked for some advice from them. They said, call an attorney. I actually talked to a responding officer, and he said, let's ban them for life, and anytime they set foot on the trailer park again, it'll be criminal trespass, not civil, and we can actually get these people in trouble because they're only there to, st to steal. And if you watched that video, or I think it was in that part of the video, they actually told the individual, if they catch, if I catch them as the landlord walking on my grass, I can get them in trouble, which is great. So they sent me a copy of the offending message dealing with my trailer park. And it goes on to say, these two were just evicted from Brandon's mobile home park and barred from the property for distribution of um, hillbilly 
weight loss treatment. We'll call it that. Breaking into trailers and causing trouble down here. Both of them are known to be thieves and open investigations. They were brought here from Kentucky because they had no pl- they needed a place to go because they were thought to be clean and doing better. They are not. They used their family to move here to avoid warrants and pick back up on drug use. He has cost my landlord and the previous landlords over 10k in damages from stripping new trailers of the copper and metal and they will steal from you. They purposely wired my furnace backwards to blow it up and we couldn't stay here and they would could break into my home and take my condenser and other parts from the furnace so they could make money. The man is, and they named the person, which I'm not going to name here, and he is currently incarcerated in the local county jail. Um, The lady is the woman's name. She spent two years in prison for manufacturing meth, and and, uh, the man has a history in Kentucky. Right now, they have an open investigation and are pending charges for, um, I don't want to go into that part there because it's really sad. Um, peace, please keep away from these people. Um, the man is also known to be aggressive and owns firearms. They were so messed up that they left their, okay, there, it gets really dark. You think this is dark? It gets really dark at this point. Um, unfortunately, their own family has had to disown them at this point. I've attached a picture of the van and then somebody responded because this thing is all over social media in Southern Ohio and I get to play my role in it and you guys get to play your role because you get to hear my side of the story. There's like three sides and it's, it, it's, it's amazing. And it's, um, there's hundreds of viral shares on this post that I'm reading off to you right now. And it says, uh, pl- uh, they were so messed up. Okay. We're happy. Party time. Who's buying the alcohol? Brandon, I vote you. I can't <laughs> drink. <laughs> you get this trailer park, help me get it cleaned up. I will buy you guys a kegger like you've never seen before. Yes. Right. <laughs> you bring, you bring, you bring a so that was that. That's about the van to be driving after it was impounded. This man was also used. This van was also used in the gas station robbery right beside Brandon's trailer park. Please keep an eye out for your belongings. Also, they will take anything they can to make money off you. And once you confront them about it, they will turn it around on you. Please share. Below is a video of the trailer they were keeping their stolen possessions and squatting without permissions, which they actually included an investment joy video on that, and. And the person goes on to say, this is your prize tenants. They're posting, they, your prize tenants are posting, my attorney has a copy and I promise you I am taking action now. So I give her the name of my attorney in town. And if uh, this individual needs to get a hold of me, which if you're watching my video, you could just call, don't get a hold of me, get a hold of my attorney. You have the name. It's the good attorney from town. And... They go on to say, I know you are going to take that down. It is wrong. And you know it. You claim to be a Christian, which, okay. Um, Then be one and do what's right. None of that is true. And I want you to know it. And so don't worry about, I want you to take it. uh, Talk to you, Ether. I'm really lost there on those words. And then she goes on to say, this is my attorney. So, in that word jumble, I don't know how many prized um, Words with Friends players we have out there. Do you guys know uh, what we're talking about at this point? She is suing me, or is claiming to sue me, because of one of my tenants posting on social media in defense of me for evicting them, and that... She wants to exert leverage over me, the landlord of the trailer park that you guys have watched, because my tenant posted about them on Facebook. Yeah. So that's when I'm being sued. Because, believe it or not, I, Mr. YouTube, hillbilly laundromat rental owner on YouTube, have the power the mental telepathy, you know, she said, she knows I'm a Christian, which, okay. Um, I have the mental superpower of controlling tenants. 
And out of all the superpowers that I could have as a landlord, I think that my superpower would be to collect rent on time from everybody. And uh, that would be my superpower one. Um, superpower two would be to collect, um, to avoid evictions always, which I'm not good at either one of those to a point. I mean, we did pretty good on rent collection last month. I think we made 39, th- uh, this month I think we're at $39,000, which is okay. We should be at 45 to 50 at this point. Um, the, the trailer's burning a hole in my pocket for better or worse. So that is that is what's going on here. I, I am being sued, YouTube, because one of my tenants took to social media to defend me on an eviction. The eviction in the prior video of the people that were in prior videos um, who I caught stealing stuff from me right before a YouTube live stream. So in some small way, you guys on the internet play a role in this crazy trailer park stuff. I don't know if you've ever felt famous before or wanted to be famous for trailer park involvement, but just by clicking that like button, which I hope you've done by now, you have played your role in making my content viral and helping me to achieve this level of fame where I have developed ESPN and mental powers to control my tenants. So I really appreciate you guys, each and every single one of you. And, uh... Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell if you feel like it. I'm sure there's going to be more wonderful updates. I was out there just a little bit ago uh, posting up leases and some... um, We had to do a 30-day notice. Um, More crazy things that are going on at the trailer park, for better or worse. I'm getting messages on Discord, and I won't edit those sounds out because I like my Discord messages because I get them pretty regularly. So I appreciate all of you. Thank you guys for watching, and good night or morning or whatever time period it is you're watching. Thanks. As a quick note, I would love for you to get on our Discord channel. As of today, I have responded to 12,087 messages on Discord. I'm extremely active, and I live stream and broadcast on there very regularly. Uh, Quite often with content that I can't cover on my YouTube channel um, just because of time and a lot of this stuff I just can't edit down into a short episode or a long episode or whatever. So I'd love to see you on there and talk with you.